What's up and welcome back. This is Fiercely Collecting and today we have an exciting video. So as you see in front of you, this is the original Fast Hot Wheels set. This is actually the Hot Wheels set that got me back into collecting Hot Wheels. I remember scrolling through Instagram, seeing a bunch of car stuff, and I saw some of these Fast and Furious Hot Wheels and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get these. So went online and found that it was actually a Hot Wheels set. And so I started scouring all the stores and got me a couple sets. And well, like four or five years later, look where we are now. So doing a YouTube channel and have probably like a thousand Hot Wheels. And yep. So what I wanted to do today is go over my entire sealed collection and kind of tally it up and maybe get an overall value, and then also see just kind of what I am missing. I'm going to a big toy, uh, toy show tomorrow, so I figured it'd be a good time to do some inventory and see what I need. So I'm gonna start off um, with Hot Wheels Basics, then go to Hot Wheels Premiums, and then I'm gonna go into some non-Hot Wheels brand stuff, um, like Racing Champions and Ravel and a couple other things. So starting it off here with some of the uh, Hot Wheels main lines, here are some of the five packs that I have sealed. Um, so we have this one. I think probably the most popular car actually is the Drift 350Z from Tokyo Drift. Um, this Evo from Too Fast Too Furious, I think this is the only like Hot Wheels casting that we have of this. So it'd be really nice to uh, get maybe a premium or another version of this along with the uh, Eclipse Spider. It would be really cool. Um, this set, obviously, we got Brian's R34, and then we got the Porsche GT3 RS, and then we have the Mustang, which was just featured in the most recent set. Um, so I did find one of these, and then I opened it, and then I found two more right after that. So pretty cool that I was able to scoop up a couple of those. So I'm going to be doing all the price research after I film the video. Um, a lot of this stuff I got a while ago, so I'm going to be kind of just doing some guessing on value, but I will pop up on the screen um, the correct values of everything, and then we'll kind of like tally it up at the end. But I'm guessing these are in like 10 to 15 and probably similar with these. Continuing on with the Hot Wheels mainline. So this one's uh, pretty recent. So you can probably actually still find this one out in the stores, but it's Dom's charger that they dropped out of the airplanes. So this one is probably just worth a buck or two, nothing crazy. But we are going to be getting into some older stuff. So this is the Supra from the original movie. Um, going back with these older cars, there's a bunch of different like card variations and stuff, and it's a little tough to keep up with. But So this one has the painted wing, which is a variant um, you can see. Over here, a couple of these don't have the painted wing. Um, so yeah, definitely with the older stuff, get into a lot of variants and a little hard to keep track of. So next we have a Nissan 370Z from Fast and Furious 6. So this is part of a Walmart set. So Walmart has a lot of these like specialty Fast and Furious sets. I don't think I have too many of these cars. I have the Lambo open. Um, and then I think that might be all I have from this set. And a fan favorite here, we have Suki's Honda S2000 with the pink livery. And once again, this is from one of the Walmart, the Walmart sets. I think I actually might have almost this whole set. So this Chevelle, which is from the same set as Suki's uh, S2000. So upon further research, I actually do have this whole set. I'll just kind of go through them. So those were cars one and two. And then for three, we have the Ford GT40, which I believe this is the one that they drove out of the moving train or something, I think. And Fast Five, we have the Nissan Skyline. And this one's really cool. I would like to get another one of these to crack open, but the Nissan GTR. Last but not least, I do have one of these cracked open, but we have Roman's Lamborghini Murcielago. And getting into some old school favorites, this is from Tokyo Drift, the Nissan 370Z. I do have one of these cracked open, 
in the case back here. And I think these were going for quite a good price back when I purchased this. So I'm not sure. I guess we'll see if it's all in or not. Next up from Too Fast, Too Furious, we have the Toyota Supra that was in the first race in that first scene of the movie. I have one of these cracked open and it looks like I have two more sealed. Then last for the main lines is one of Brian's uh, R34 Nissan Skylines. So if you are a fan of the channel I've been watching, I recently opened, there's a variation of this one that has the plastic black spoiler. I just cracked that one open. Um, so I would have had that one in the sealed, but I had to have it cracked to add to the display case back here with all the other Skylines. So we just got this one. And to wrap it up, I don't know if this counts as like a main line or where this would even fit in with all these cars here. But I do have Dom's charger in the monster truck. So I'm waiting on the Skyline. So Brian's Skyline is coming out in its monster truck form as well, which I think will be pretty neat. So I think that is going to wrap it up for the basics. Moving on into premium. So this is where this is where it gets a little dicey. As a lot of you, if you are collectors, know. Hot Wheels has been taking full advantage of the Fast and Furious franchise and has been pumping out set after set after set. So there is so many sets that I literally cannot even keep track of. Um, as you saw in the opening clip there, I have one full set of the original Fast that is still um, in the card. I have one full set that is loose in the display case back here behind you. And then I have one of these sealed box sets. So these are going for a pretty good amount of money. So I got this quite some time ago, but I'm pretty sure this box is like around the $130 range. And then same with like the set, um, just kind of loose with the cards. It is probably going for, you know, around the same like 120. The other box set that I got is the Fast Rewind, which is actually a really cool set. So it's all the cars from the movies, but they put the same liveries, but on like older versions of the car. So we have like Dom's RX-7, we have the Mona Lisa, we have the Drift, um, Tokyo Drift 350Z, and then we got, was it Lenny's car? And then obviously Paul Walker's Skyline. So this is also a sealed set. I have this set loose as well in the display, but those are it. I think I actually have no idea what this one's going for. So I am kind of trying to go in chronological order here, but like I said, there's been so many sets, it's so hard to keep track of. Um, this is the Fast Tuner set, which looks like I only have these two sealed. Um, not a bad pair to have, though, if you ask me. Um, ooh, so yeah, the Nissan Silvia. Oh yeah, I actually don't have even one of these loose or sealed. So I am missing some of these, so maybe I'll be able to pick those up tomorrow. But that's going to do it for this set. Next, from the Full Force set, we have a remake of Dom's RX-7. So the car is exactly the same as in the original Fast, but just on a different card and in a different set. So I definitely kind of started to get a little more picky with what cars I got and what ones I didn't. I wasn't really trying to just complete all the sets. Surprised I don't have one of the chargers. I definitely have it loose in the case. Uh, it's like right above here. But surprised I don't have... Um, any of those sealed. Next up was this Eurofast set. Um, this was kind of a weird set that a lot of the cars, like none of them were really like big name cars in it, like this Aston Martin, which I have one of. Um, I had a bunch of the Lamborghinis and the McLarens, and I actually cracked them and took all the wheels for wheel swaps. But yeah, I got one of these, and then you know I'm a big BMW fan, so of course for the E36 M3. I have, I have four, four of these carded, and same for the E46 M3. I have four of these carded as well. So not sure what the value is on these, but I will pop it up on the screen. And here from the Motor City Muscle, this is the only car from this set that I have as well. And I do have one open, which is right above here. Not really a huge fan of the wheel choice on this one. Um, the wheels on this guy, those like chrome five spokes, I think look way better. Um, obviously I didn't get any of these other cars. So this is the only one sealed. 
Next up, we have the Fast Stars. So interesting, they keep coming up with just like these weird, slightly different little names. It's like Original Fast, Fast Stars, Fast Superstars, Superstar Fast. It's like everything they can think of with the word fast in it. But this set does have an OG car from the first movie. I definitely like this wheel choice better than the original Fast with those like chrome five spokes. Just do not look very good. Um, I do have this whole set, as you can see behind. We have the Mustang, we have the Trackhawk, we have the Charger, and then the Lycan Hypersport. So this wasn't a bad set, and it looks like I was able to find the full one. And keeping right in theme with the Fast names, we have the Fast Stars straight into Fast Imports. So I only have two cars from this set, but both Brian O'Connor's cars. We have the Nissan Skyline, obviously, and then the Ford Escort. So this Nissan Skyline is one of my favorites. I think it's like the most well done, and it's probably like out of all the uh, Skylines from Too Fast, Too Furious, I would say this is the kind of the highlight in my collection. So this one did have some really good cars. I have this loose, this loose. Um, I actually don't have this one yet at all, so I'll be looking out for that tomorrow. Yeah, overall, this one was not a bad set and one that maybe I wouldn't mind having the full set carded. Up next, we have a couple cars from the Quick Shifters. No, of course, not the Fast Shifters. We're really switching it up here with Quick Shifters. So the, both these cars are very cool, though. So this is Mia's Honda NSX in the black with the gray six spokes. So here's the other cars from the set. Um, yeah, I'm actually, I have that one loose and I don't have either of those actually. So tomorrow going to be, actually maybe I'll do an update video and let you know at the car show if I was able to pick up any other cars to complete the collection. Next up, we have the Fast Superstars set, which I think this was definitely the highlight. So this was Brian's uh, R34 Skyline. The blue with the dark gray 10 spokes. I'm only missing one car out of this set, and I think it is the Chevy Nova SS. You can see back here, we have the rest of the set. So I might actually just put up the price of just what this set goes for, and then maybe just add in a little bit for one of these cars. But that might be one that I try to pick up tomorrow to finish up this set. And here we have the Furious Fleet set. So this one I am missing one, which is the Jeep Gladiator, which is kind of a bummer because it's actually a pretty cool cast. Um, so these are probably my favorites out of here. So here we have Johnny Trans Honda S2000 with more than $100,000 under the hood of that car. Can you believe it? And we have the custom Mustang. I just like the coloring on this. We have the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat wide body. This thing is pretty mean. Look at that Hellcat crashing into stuff and it's still in the package. Holy cow. And the last one, the Land Rover Defender. This is actually a pretty cool casting as well. Then we have this set, which came out probably just a year ago. Um, this set does not have any name to it, but definitely a lot of muscle car themed stuff in here. And this actually has my favorite version of Brian's Ford Lightning. So these five spoke wheels, I think just look a lot more aggressive. The stance and everything just, uh, just looks way better than the other car. We have the 68 Dodge Charger, the 1970 uh, Chevy Nova SS, the Pontiac Firebird, and the Buick Regional GNX, which is a super mean looking car. And here from the most recent set, which is still out in stores, you have Brian's Supra slash Skyline. So kind of a controversial car, but I don't know. I'm a sucker for anything Fast and Furious, as you can probably tell by now in this video. Um, but yeah, not too bad. So I just have those two. So this is one that I did not get the full set. Um, actually, I do have the Camaro. I think it's um, upstairs somewhere, but I did not get the Trackhawk. So maybe I'll complete this set just because I almost have it done. But 
wasn't my favorite set. I mean, these two cars were awesome. And then rounding it off for the Hot Wheels Premium, I'm not sure where the IDs kind of fall, but it seems like kind of in the premium range. Uh, I do have one of these loose over here in the case, and I just uh, gave one away to a friend the other day, but I still have these two in the case. Um, these are worth a pretty good amount, I think around like 25 bucks a piece. So we'll see if the price has changed at all, but yep, two of these. So now we are moving on from the Hot Wheels to kind of some of the other brands that have a bunch of uh, Fast and Furious cars. So this is from the early 2000s. It is Ravel Diecast, and we have a nice little collection of these. So I have opened up this car on the channel. A lot of really good details, so very cool. They are a little smaller scale. I think they, yeah, they're still 164 scale, but they are a lot smaller than the Hot Wheels. Uh, so they look kind of funny next to each other, um, but still pretty neat. And I think these are definitely worth keeping sealed. As like I said, these are like over 20 years old. So I also have Jaw Rules Integra, which I also opened up on the channel. And then we have Hector's uh, Civic Hatch, which I would really like to crack that one open. We have Brian's um, Ford Lightning. And then we have Dom's Charger, which I recently opened this up on the channel too. So I'll throw up all the prices for these uh, individually up on the screen. And to continue on with some of the non Hot Wheels brand, we have the Racing Champions. Um, I think just from what I can tell, it looks like Racing Champions kind of had a um, pretty big market share and just had a ton of product for Fast and Furious back in the early 2000s. Um, I do have a decent amount of stuff from them, so I'll kind of start it off here. I have opened up some of this as well, and it's kind of the same. It is actually even smaller than the Ravel. So even though these, I think these do say 164th, yeah, 164th, they are like way, way smaller. So I'll go through all the cars of the racing champions that I have, and we'll pop the prices up. So here is Brian's Mitsubishi Eclipse. Here we have a 95 Honda Civic Street Racer. I think this was probably just like one of the cars that was in that first big race scene. And same with this, the 94 Acura Integra. I think this was not like a, one of the main cars, but just one of the side cars. And here we have Dom's Mazda RX-7. So this one's showing a little yellowing on the card. Um, but like I said, these are over 20 years old. The wheels on this, I'm not a huge fan of. I would like to crack one of these open just to kind of add it to the collection of the other racing champions that I have loose, um, but we'll see. Then we have Brian's Toyota Supra from the first movie. The details on these are really cool. I mean, all like the, you can see the seat coloring, the details on the wing, the hood, the wheels actually don't look too bad. You got the taillights, the exhaust. I do have this one open. You can see it right there. And here we have Jesse's uh, Volkswagen Jetta from the very first movie. So this is one that I also would like to have loose, but the wheels are really bad on this. They're really tucked in. You can kind of see right there, tucked way into the fenders and just don't fit the car proportionally very well. But it would be kind of cool since we only have one um, of these. It would be cool to add this one to my loose collection. Next, we have the Yanko Camaro. This was from Too Fast, Too Furious when they did that uh, down and back street race with Brian and Roman. I actually have another one of these on the way. I'm going to be uh, cracking this open because I have, as you can see, I have uh, the Eclipse there. They race these cars, so I'm kind of trying to put together that whole race scene with the four cars from that second movie. And last but not least, we have the black Honda Civic. So this is one of the cars that is one of the three heist cars. And this one I think is very hard to find and is pretty expensive. This is also another one that I would like to have like three of these loose in my collection. I just think that'd be so cool to have all three of these. So the details are very nice and movie accurate, I would say. 
with a nice little tuner wing and the nice wheels. Very cool. So, um, but I guess we'll see after I do all my price research if I want to be getting more or cracking any of these open. And wrapping up the Racing Champions cars, we have a couple of these transporters. So these are pretty neat with all the Fast and Furious branding on them. And they also come with a car. So this comes with Dom's Mazda RX-7. So I don't think this one is too crazy expensive, but I do really like the, just it's the classic car from the first movie and the graphics on the trailer and stuff are really neat. This one, however, I think is probably worth a pretty decent amount. I got this, I think about five years ago in a huge um, bundle that I bought that had a lot of the other racing champion cars. This one's really cool with Paul Walker's Supra. Then you have the Gretti logo and then Fast and Furious with the Supra again. So just the hauler on this one. I like the color scheme and obviously anything with Paul Walker on it is just kicks it up a notch, right? So I do also have a whole bunch of these Jada. I think these are like 1 24th scale. Uh, I think I have like four or five more that aren't shown here but I will also kind of try to throw um, all the pricing and total in of all of these cars. So that is going to wrap up today's video. So now, um, before I put the total up on the screen, um, go ahead in the comments down below and take a guess at kind of what the whole lot that you saw here added up to. Also, if you enjoyed, consider subscribing. If you're already subscribed, I really appreciate it and feel free to hit that like button and just let me know what you thought of the video. But right here, we will pop up the grand total. If I had to take a guess, I would say right around the 2000 range. So um, yeah, I think I've already shown the actual total. So I guess we will see how far off I was.